G'day mates and welcome back. This is Quirky and oh boy have I been busy. Have I been busy. I've upgraded this so now we've got three of these beamers going in there and that makes it a heck of a lot faster. Holy moly. Three times the living matter going in there. That's great. I've got this thing which is an environmental controller which has a one of those in it which will be become obvious in a second. And I have this thing which is chickens, 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 chickens. Oh my god, chickens. Chickens up there. Originally I just had the hopper into that, but then I made a few too many chickens. 190 odd. That's not too many chickens, right? That's that's a lot of chickens, holy crap. So originally it was just one hopper, and then I decided to expand it to two hoppers into a chest. And then I decided to put those back into this thing, which is a mechanical user. Which will throw the eggs for me. That's great. It'll chuck them straight in there. Chickens go down there and it's great. And then that one, I've just got that set to entity. So when these guys grow up, it'll just whack them repeatedly. It's fantastic. And I've got this thing, which is wonderful. Because without it, you get that noise all the time. Good lord. Oh, that is beautiful. That is beautiful. Oh, I love it. So, what I need to do now... Oh, and I've added a thing up there. Hang on a second, hang on a second. Okay. Uh, I've got the capacitor bank there, which I had there before, but now I've got this thing. I've added a new mod, Flux Networks. So now this draws power from my power generation up there, rather than having to generate it here, which, thank God, because that was driving me crazy. So now what I want to do... Because so far I've been putting the... That's the point of this, by the way, is to get raw chicken to put in here. Now what I want to do is not have to do it manually. So I've crafted a few of these, which I've been reluctant to make because they take ender pearls, and I do not have a lot of ender pearls, but we are about to solve that. Oops, see. That's not what I meant to do. Try again. There you go. Do it like that. And then in here. And add them together. Over here. And over here, that one, and then you have to sort of configure them, so, let me, oh for goodness sake, come on now Quirky, what are you doing mate? So for items, they need to insert, very good, huh, there, that, then I'm going to put it into this chest. That's what this chest is here for. No, don't go over there. How do I... Sweet. It... What? There we go. I don't always press the right button, I don't think. And that one needs to be extract. Needs to be always on. That needs to... I think that's the thing that'll make it go in all three rather than just this one. Something like that. Oh, stop doing that. Stop it. Let's just disable those as well, because they don't need to be there. Get out of there. Beautiful. So hopefully now, let's do this. Oh, it's it. that's almost eerie how quiet that is. That's weird. Okay, so that should be enough chicken. Make two endermen, which is all I've got left in my in these resources. Oh yeah, I'm making Enderman by the way, yay! I put in, I think, a stack of those, and I put in some end stone, or end blocks, whatever they're called, which you can make by putting glowstone and lava in a stone barrel. Ah, great. I, I was really disappointed when I saw it needed that end block, and I thought, oh no, I don't, I don't want to go to the end. I just did that in vanilla and it sucked. Um, <laughs> but as it turns out, you can make it you can make it without having to go to the end at all. So, let's hope this works. Are they all working? Lights on? Yeah, there we go. Woohoo, Enderman! Enderman! He dead. And it should make one more in a second. Here it comes. Hey. Why aren't you working? 40 or 40? Wait a minute. Oh, huh. do I just not get the last one? What happened? Got power? 
Does it? Do you just need one more chicken? Yeah, have one more chicken. Dang. Oh well, who cares? Anyway, absorption hopper, XP over there, fantastic. That all makes sense. This is this is the the moment of truth because I haven't looked in here yet. Now I put in a stack of actually I think it was a bit more. I think it ended up being about twenty ender pearls in there, which was a bit of a sacrifice because I only had like 30 of them so there better be at least 20 in here or I'm gonna be sad wait for it wait for it wait for it oh yes oh yes and some stuff I dropped earlier fantastic oh that is sweet I am happy with that awesome okay so this was not the only trouble I was having with the uh, the living matter I did try two other solutions let me show you those Come down here. Yeah, there was an advantage to the vine curtains, as it turns out. Yay. It's slower than the elevators, but, you know, get you there. We've got farming stations. And they also have remote power. They're making lots and lots of carrots. Lots of carrots. Because with the living matter in the spawner different things have different values so that's why I've been trying to use the raw chicken um, raw beef which I hardly had any of anyway and carrots and potatoes they all have a value of one and a half so carrots oh here it goes hang on yay that is sweet this is the original one I had and then I made a second one because I didn't have that many chickens coming in at the time so that was that but yeah making lots of carrots that's that's really cool, I'm happy with that. And then I have one more thing I discovered as well. So this place was pretty quickly becoming redundant. I didn't need basically any of the drops other than the books. Now I'm pretty sure I showed this last episode. Oh goodness, that's a lot of books. I'm gonna have to go through these at some point. Oh, and it turns out these make slime. Look, slime, awesome. I knew I was saving them for something. But yeah, all I've got coming in here is these ink sacks, name tags, leather, bones, these fish, string, which I could probably take out, and books. So I was thinking to myself, I, I need enchantments, I need mending, I need looting. Pretty much everything else is covered. I've got a pretty full set of, of armor there. I'm not worried about that. My sword's pretty good. I've got a couple other good swords. My bow's pretty awesome. Got mending on all my tools and everything. So yeah, it was... This was starting to become redundant, and I was actually considering tearing this whole thing down. But, but, then I discovered that of the Pam's Harvest Craft fish, 15 of them, if you put them into your uh, crafting grid, will just turn into regular raw fish. What? So I made a thing, and this is going to be really messy, please don't. Please don't hate me. <laughs> this is really messy down here. Here we go. Where's the other... Where's the other part? Ah, here we go. Right. So. That's the original chest that everything goes into. There's one thingy that goes in there that goes into a trash can which takes things like bows, fishing rods, sticks, bowls, all that rubbish. Then there's another... Did I put another chest in? No, there's just this one. Right, so there's this chest, which obviously I can't open because of the stone, that takes the 15 kinds of fish from Pam's Harvest Craft. There's two sets of filters, which now that I've discovered these types of conduits, I'm sure I'll be never using these again, but they'll do. They're fine. They'll do. They work the way I had in mind, so that's fine. They take... One of them takes eight and the other takes seven and they go into these crafters and it just turns all of them into raw fish. It's just all the different... You literally just put it in a thing and it becomes fish. Which is sweet. And then all of them take that back up into there and I get lots of raw fish. It is so great. It is so great. So even if I run out of chicken, I will have enough fish to, to spawn things with. Just put all that back in there. There we go. Beautiful, beautiful. And I end up with two spares. Anyway. So yeah, I'll be getting lots and lots of fish, which is awesome. Because I can spawn things with it. 
and I don't have to tear that down or waste it all or anything like that. So, that's cool. Now I've got... Oh, they're starting to grow up. Fantastic. Feathers go in there. Eggs go back in there, because I don't kill them straight away always, and so these guys were laying eggs as well. So, you know, might as well put them back into the system. Eventually I might run a conduit from there. Might move the chest to this side, actually. Put a put a conduit and put it up there, And but I don't want it to do it automatically, so, yeah. I might just leave it and still do it manually. But, I have an idea for this thing. Because, there are certain mobs that are obviously harder and rarer and that kind of thing. Like, say, wither skeletons that I was spawning last episode. You know, they cost netherrack and, you know, the more expensive items and they cost more living matter to make or to spawn. But, there is a way, kind of, around it and I want to see if it works, but there's something I need to do first. Crafty, crafty, I'll have one of those, please. Thank you very much. And I will have a barrel. Thank you. Let's put this... Just stick it here for now. Oh, by the way, hear that? No, you don't, because there's a sound muffler down here. Yeah. I didn't have to change anything. Oh yeah, and I filled this up. I have lots of lots of grid power now. I've got 16 water mills that are generating 16 grid power each and somehow that equals 32,368. Yep. Okay, so we got the dirt. I'm going to put the spores on the dirt. There we go, mycelium, lovely. And then we're going to put that on the top. We're going to put some water in it. Is it going? Transforming, yes! It's transforming. I think it'll go faster if you have more dirt, but I'm not in any hurry, so that's fine. Back in a minute. Frickin' finally! Oh, that took a lot longer than a minute. <laughs> But that's okay. Now we have witch water. This stuff is cool, dangerous, and slightly scary. <laughs> but what I'm hoping, because if you put certain mobs into witch water, they will change into other mobs. And I'm thinking, if I put the witch water in there, let's just... Yeah, wasting glass. Shh. Don't say anything. I put that there like that. I'm just gonna temporarily close that back up because I don't know if this is gonna work. What I'm hoping is that I can spawn the cheaper mob and then get the better one and then the witch water will kill it hopefully. Ooh, not sure. What I'm gonna try it with because last episode I did spawn a couple of wither skeletons. Now they are not particularly expensive to make. They take 1500 power, I think, bones, nether rack, and living matter like everything else does. But skeletons, they cost half as much in power. I think they still take bones. They take dirt instead of nether rack, and they cost less living matter to make, so I can spawn more of them for the same amount of raw chicken or fish or carrots or whatever. So hopefully. I grab some bones. Not gonna need that many, but that's alright. And I'll grab a bit more dirt. You could never have too much, which is why I've apparently got 1700 of it. Yay! Now let's see if this works. Because apparently, if you put mobs in witch water anyway, they take damage. Except for witches and I think zombies, so. That will be the, the test of it, I think. What do I want here? I want a skeleton. Oh, I don't have... Damn it! I don't have regular skeleton DNA. Dang it! <laughs> Alright, 
plan B. Hi! I need your blood, please. Thank you very much, and thank you for not running away. That's awesome. I could have tried with the creeper DNA, because apparently when you put a creeper in witch water it creates a charged creeper, but I would be madder than a cut snake if I put creeper DNA in there and it made a charged creeper and it blew everything up. So I'm not going to do that. At all. What do I need for a pig? Leather and dirt. Leather, please. Thank you very much. Because if you put a pig in witch water, it makes those zombie pigmen. Except I don't know if he'll take damage in the witch water. Damn it. This might not work, but we'll get... Spacebar quirky, Jesus. See if this works. That in there like that. Put Enderman in chest. Cooly cooly. Right. Don't need a lot of leather. A little bit. A little bit of dirt. And raw chicken. Maybe I should just spawn one. <laughs> to begin with. Let's just put... That many. <laughs> Let's see, is this going to work? Is this going to work? What happens? Come on. Did I put enough chicken in? No, of course not, because I can't maths. Jeez. it working? Come on. Please? Oh, are you serious? I was one short. Hey! Look, 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 it worked, it worked! It worked. Except he's not dying. Oh wait, yes he is! Is he? Yes! That worked. Didn't get any loot, but I'm not worried about that at all. Sweet! Test confirmed! Woohoo! That is awesome. Now I need to go and get some skeleton blood. <laughs> Yay. Okay, so I'm down here. Just waiting for the sun to finish going down. Wait for some mobs. And the problem is, is that I've made this trap again. Which I also used to catch a witch. I managed to catch a witch. Oh my god. If I remember to, I'll insert the clip here. The problem with skeletons is that they're ranged. <laughs> so if I try and put him in that trap, he probably won't follow me. So I might just have to run around and try and hit him free range. Ugh. Not looking forward to that idea. I was literally just about to say, where are all the mobs? And then there's a friggin' witch over there. God oh, damn it. Oh boy. Oh god. Oh. I have bitten off more than I can chew here, I think. Skeleton. Skeleton. Come here, come here, come here, come here, come here. Oh crap. You know what? Let's just... Oh god. Panic. Panic. Ah. Uh, would you piss off with your gold armor? Jesus. And you? You're nothing but trouble. 
Can't even aim. Nailed it. And I've got me syringe. Life is good. Made it out alive. Sweet. Got my skeleton. Blood. DNA. Stuff. Let's see if this works. There it is! With a skeleton! Not dying! Will you shut up, spider? Okay. That's not great. Oh! Okay. Oh, they're swimming! Ah, okay. Okay, I follow now. I mean, it is technically water, isn't it? But it's only when they bob up and down and hit the spike. Okay. But if I put the water up the top, then they should drown in it. Yes? Yep, I'm pretty sure it's as I suspected. The witch water doesn't actually kill the wither skeletons. Which is not all that surprising, really. It's just when they hit the spike. So, but at least it's working the way I thought it would, I guess. Let me fix this up and see what happens. Oh no! Oh dang it! I'm blind! Oh crap! I'm withered! And there went all my torches! Oh nuts! Didn't really think that through before I did it, did I? Oh well. Live and learn. Okay. Cool. Let's spawn a thing. Yep, just needs living matter. Let's do this. Shut up, spider! Okay, so he's spawned. Yes, dead. Sweet. I don't know whether it's... I don't know what's causing the damage, but to be quite honest, I don't care. I don't know whether they're drowning, or they're being pushed down onto the spike, or whether the witch water's doing the damage. But I don't care, it's working! It's working! Let's do a whole bunch of that. Yay. Make all of the skellies. There we go. Look at that. I run out of bones in a second. That is awesome. Am I getting... What am I getting? Oh, my spout came off. Eerie me. Okay. Getting coal, getting bones back. That's my dirt from before. Those are my torches. I wonder if I'll get heads. Well, I didn't get any Enderman heads out of all that. Hmm. Interesting. Seriously, Spider, for the love of God. They're actually spawning faster than they're dying. That is sweet. That has given me a really cool idea. But I don't know if it'll work. And I think I'll save it for the next episode. But before that... Piss off! Anyway guys, I'm going to leave it there. Thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next episode. Cheers!